So, how do you feel about the negative connotations associated with women, e.g. being black, loud and rude? So me personally, I've definitely experienced this when I was in school and like, you know, the teacher would be like, oh, you're intimidating this girl, da, 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 da. but that's mainly because like, I'm very expressive and like, if I'm going through something or something happens, I'm really going to back myself. Like, I will never be the kind of person to be quiet about situations, not because I'm rude and black, but because I love myself and I'm passionate and I won't tolerate nonsense, do you know what I mean? But it's really sad because that is something that us girls always go through as being black and it's sad because first of all there's two different things that can happen number one you can either be like you know the self-fulfilling prophecy like you will end up being mm -hmm. the black rude girl because that's what they label you as so let me just be that or you can kind of be the one to like dim down yourself like oh i'm in a situation let me be quiet before she says i'm the rude black girl or let me not say anything before they say i'm aggressive and it's mm -hmm. sad because like why do we have to go through that especially like even in rude. films they're like, you know, the little clique of girls, they'll be the rude girls. And they always kind of like, the directors will always kind of make the black girls be the mm -hmm. oppressors. Like, we're pushing people, we're like screwing girls and stuff like that. And it's like, not all of us are like that, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's not like we're doing it because we want to be bullies, but it's because we've always had the bad end of the stick sort of yeah. thing. So we've always had to have our guard up. We've always had to be defensive because we're always the one getting, you know, the bad things happening to us, like, dating back from years, do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like these things have just carried on and on and on and it's really not fair. I feel like, I don't know where this intimidation comes from, like, black women were loud, were rude and difficult. I don't know what it is, even that with working, yeah, yeah, even that, like, even with, like, in the past, like, working in retail, when I used to meet my black colleagues, I would say, guys, let's separate, because I feel like, as soon as you see black people, mm. yeah, yeah. it's what I love. Like, even if we're doing our work, though, if we're all sitting together, excuse me, even the you know, please, it's like, we can't even be to what people think you were doing something, it's like, I don't know, it's it's where it's never sit with my black friends. You know, yeah, that like, sometimes you won't even open your mouth, you'll be walking on the street, they'll part, they'll cross the road, mm -hmm. because they think you're intimidating, what do you think I'm going to do? What can I do to you, you know? But, you know, saying that, yeah, I don't even, I don't to say this but even as a black girl so for example if i see a group of black boys do you feel like that you get a bit not nervous but imagine you're walking probably in the night and you see like a group of black boys mm. Would it, I, just, I, don't, I, don't I wouldn't say it's because of a group of black boys no, i just don't i say for our men yeah you know yeah i think it's very different yeah. to the, yeah. the, the connotations around that is yeah. violence yes, violent. yeah. 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 when a black woman speaking up will say something how am I? Because honestly, I've definitely say I've been labelled as aggressive or intimidating or whatever. But it's like, and to the stage whereby when I was growing up, I actually changed a lot to seem a lot nicer to people. Like I take, I go the extra step, so I'll be nice, I'll smile because I don't want to come across intimidating. But when I am faced with these types of parents, what is intimidating about me? What is aggressive about what I've just said? I don't put anyone. I'm saying. I'm saying. It's like you have to do. You have to get to the bottom of these microaggressions of people saying like, oh, you know, you're. It's just the way you're speaking or the way you're. I'm expressive, or I'm happen. passionate about what I'm saying. Yeah, you definitely. can't let people, you know, put these stereotypes on you because that's how you are mm -hmm. and you can't just let society try to shape you and mould you so you feel like you can't be who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because as long as I've lived, I ain't ever really heard, heard the, like, uh, rude white girl and stuff like no, that. No, no, no. Well, you, you can call someone rude, but it's never been, like, this narrative all like, It's a white girl. Loud white girls on the bus. What's through, what's that movie? Mean Girls? Mm. Yeah, that's really like, okay. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not yeah. the typical. It's, it's not, not a dick. Like, like, everybody yeah. liked that film because exactly. it was so like raw. Like that ain't how. how, how, how like, even the way they portrayed them had them like looking posh mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Was, if, if, if it was a black person, they'll probably like right, they, because they think our hairstyles are ghetto. They'll probably have our braids down. About or, like, like, a shoot a fucking shoot 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 long nails. That's what they say. Oh yeah, long nails. That's what they say. If it were probably like Waterloo Road, the tie would be undone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When I went to school, I was not going to lie, my shirt was up to the top. Me, I was starting to be there. We had our little tie shoes, like, so this narrative that we're allowed, difficult, and but I don't, but you know, I think carries it. As much as, like, it's a stereotype, and people have it through, again, the media, movies, like, do you know what I mean? Acting, like, like, directors act on this. Obviously, it's not criminal to act on the stereotype, but. It's gonna keep continuing that we can't can we really break the chain or break the Yes, we can because institutions can start doing better. They it's not all the time you're gonna it's, 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 it's not all the time there's gonna be a black girl starring in the movie and she has to be like, why can't she be nice and polite? When they start making those little changes, we will see a change. I'm not sorry, I'm not the one that can really make a change. I don't have deep I'm tired, how do I say it? I don't know these big platforms, yeah. but the things we watch, the things we see and hear. Those it, people in charge of we that. don't realise how much like we digest it. Like, you watch the movie like, in the film is there. Young. But when you're out in the street you kinda like see mm -hmm. what you watch and you kinda mm -hmm. use it in the oh, no, 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 no,
going to school, yeah, like say if you have like your hair out like you do now, yeah, or like have like curls, they'll be like, oh, like your afro is so loud and ghetto. Yeah. yeah. Or like it's if a Caucasian kind of person had it, oh, that's their natural state. How do you not know that the afro is my natural state as well? <laughs> Do you, and, you and, guys and, remember and, at school when we used to get put into like um, isolation for having coloured hair? Yeah. Whereas and, white girls would come with oh, red hair. And yeah. Hair. I'm I, I, I know, be like, but that's their natural hair. Yeah. 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 Girls will come in at Afro and they say your hair is destructive. Destru yeah. <laughs> your hair is destructive. You guys will not see that story. They made a the boy cough his dreadlocks. Yeah. 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 How does my dreadlock stop me from learning? How? They say your hair is the destruction. And, and, and that's like, that just goes to show mm -hmm. you how, like, how deep these institutions or like, people are willing to go to tell you like everything about you is wrong. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Something that I can't change. Obviously, yeah. my hair can't cool, but if I'm young, my mum does my hair. Mm. Yeah. I'm still yeah. the same person to school. Like, mm. why is my hair distracting you? Why am I the color of my from a one red braid? Like, <laughs> not even a friendly way now. I've seen nothing yes. like all oh. curly hair because I'm I'm black. They don't think it's a natural. Let's just be honest. It's more because of the Eurocentric. Because yeah, we don't feel the Eurocentric norms or the things of how things are supposed to look. It's just like anything after look. Afro, Afro look, kinky like, today. It's just like it doesn't fit in. Yeah, I love them. It's crazy. But yes. The next question that's actually my question, and I really want to speak on this because it gets me mad, yeah. It says, how do you feel about the term strong black woman and what type of expectations you have for yourself? I need to start on this. Um, I don't know who sat down in the boardroom and said that we're strong black women. Like, I feel like it's the most toxic and unhealthy narrative to have. Yes, we have been through so many things that made us strong, but it's because of the way we've been, the, the type of, um, like, we've been so opposed, opposed in our life that we go through so much that we have to be strong black, but you do not really hear strong white women, strong it's always black women that have to, you know, that dim them to. down. We have to, you know, they think it's a compliment. Yeah, yeah. we need to, yeah. we need to, we need to be the bigger person. We need I'll to burn everything. 100%. I'm weak. I'm not strong. I cry at really? night. I cannot breathe at night. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I'm a real and strong black woman. And as much as okay, it's good to be strong and firm things, but in life. We need to, the people need to stop looking at us as a race well, and the gender that have to always firm everything. We go through things as well because of what you guys put us through. Then you also want me to be strong and close my mouth. No, I'm gonna cry. Like mm -hmm. I cannot breathe. Mm -hmm. When I didn't tell you that I'm strong, we are also we, we also have our own emotions. And I feel like a lot of black women, as you were saying before, like African, they don't know how to show their emotions. They mm -hmm. also build themselves up to be strong. I'm not following in those footsteps. I cry nowadays, exactly. so I cry. Yeah. So my emotion, will my emotion will show. Like I know the people. The emotion. I know the narrative of being strong black is because they want us to be strong queens and uplift ourselves which is totally okay. fine. Yeah. However, I'm not going to compromise how I'm feeling just to be strong. Well, yeah. you yeah. done is put like a positive title with like a negative Yeah, so strong, like, strong black queens. Strong. Like, there's this so, whole narrative, yeah. my strong black queens love no, what black women. No, it's like the they don't want to cry. Oh, but you're a strong black You're a strong black woman, you take that? it in. Why is there so much <laughs> meaning to this No, I definitely agree with Kashan. I feel like with strong black women, it's so detrimental. Yes, we're strong, but it's like they're romanticizing this idea of our reality. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like men will be like, I want a strong black woman. That's just because you've seen what your mum been through and you're mm -hmm. it's because you made your mum black woman. Why do I have to be strong? Why can't you look at me and say I love you because you're smart? You love me because I'm strong. Why do I need to be strong? Like because you know you cheat on her, you do that. She said she's like that. She's like that. strong black woman is always enduring or something why can't we be praised for who we are why yeah. can't we be praised for what we're doing i don't feel like black women have to justify themselves or live up to this strong you know persona because of the fact that society won't be better do you know what i'm saying yeah, i for one won't accept that i'm not going to be i obviously we are strong at heart I but strong. i don't need to be a strong black woman I have to. except yeah. all of this type of stuff just to like no that's yeah. there it's about time everyone's treated the same. Mm -hmm. like, I'm, I don't ever hear strong white women, strong ever. Asian never women. Heard it. I've never strong heard that. We're, we're, we're actually tired of being strong. We actually go through so mm -hmm. much. And even us, we're young, but even our parents, like, they go through so much. And having to be strong and having to firm everything is unhealthy, mm -hmm. it's unrealistic, and it needs to change. That narrative mm -hmm. needs to die down. Of course, there's, a, there's an element of it being positive to so uplift, up, um, uplift yourself and do better for yourself. but. We can't always be strong in situations, especially situations that we have been, you know, victim like. It's not, it's, it's unfair. It's actually unfair. Yeah. Um, you know, when we start to understand that self reliance is a trauma response, it's, resp it's responding to what you see. You don't have no one to rely on, you don't have no one there for you. So you kind of learn to be there for yourself, mm -hmm. and then you think you're being strong, but really and truly, it's just how you've been conditioned to. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really unhealthy for you know, us black women, especially young black women growing up, do you know what I'm saying? You've seen your mum probably, you know, 
handed in all sorts of stuff that she mm. needs help with, but she's doing it on her own, mm. whether that's family stuff, financial stuff, the fact that mm. the household, she's doing it all on her own. So you kind of internalise that and you feel like you have to be strong and you have to kind of deal with that. Mm. Whereas it's kind of not fair because that's what society's putting on us. Yeah. So I feel like it definitely happens from a younger age. And then obviously as you grow it's up, you kind of become yeah. that strong black woman. It where comes on all. Exactly. Strong. My question is about how do we feel about the narrative of having to work 10 times harder because you're black. So as a black woman, how do you feel about having to work 10 times harder? I would definitely say that as a black woman, I feel like we are not afforded any sort of, you know, mediocrity. Like we're not allowed, we're not allowed to be mediocre. We're not allowed to be happy. You have to be, you have to be, you have to be, you have to be and it's like, where, that has followed me everywhere I've been. Yeah. From school, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. To me studying higher education mm. institutions, it's like, you have to be better, you have mm. to do better. You're not going to be afforded the same like luxuries as other people. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I feel like, obviously, I've been quite, I would say I've worked with so many lovely people and, and I'm not going to fault them or anything, yeah. but certain things whereby if somebody else did that, that's fine. It's yeah. a long factor. Yeah. But if you do that, <laughs> I'm emailing the yeah. director of the... Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, you, cannot, you, you don't have that opportunity. Even with our work, you're like, I'm not saying obviously people are racist or whatever, mm. but there's always unconscious bias, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, when, as a black woman, people kind of just tend to hold you to a higher standard yeah, than like other average, people. Because yeah. you'll be thinking like, hold on a second, everybody else is chilling. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't seem that hard for them. But when you're, when you're doing it, it's like, okay, you've got to go harder because, you know, you've got to make sure you're up to that standard. And mm -hmm. I feel like it's not fair. It I definitely, it's draining. Yeah, it's draining. And, it's and if, you, if you say something back, oh, you're the angry black like, one. Like, mm -hmm. right, okay. Okay. Like, do you also think that personally, I think, that um how can I phrase this? It's kind of toxic to be in a mindset where like okay, so you know how like um oh how do I say I don't even like, say. Okay, so so the, the topic is black women, we feel that like we need to go harder in mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. in general, yeah. I feel like it's very toxic thinking I have to do that because like because of, like I agree with the stereotype, I don't agree with it. Like mm -hmm. I don't agree with the fact that black women we have to go harder and stuff like. I would do my best in something. If that is my best, that is my best. <laughs> I oh my cannot God. physically, <laughs> mentally kill, kill myself or push myself mm -hmm. to do something just because I feel like I have something to prove. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I feel like that whole topic is black women again having something to prove. I don't agree with that at all. Like I just feel like. Obviously, it's a stereotype, it's there because, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, some people believe it's true, some people do not, but to me, I don't agree with it at all. Yeah. Like, I, just I, like, I think I definitely yeah. care what they're saying, like, I disagree with that. It shouldn't be the case, you get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't feel as though you have to prove yourself mm -hmm. or prove your worth of what you're doing, but in a lot of cases, people do tend to feel it that way just by yeah. the way, mm -hmm. you know, the environment mm -hmm. is set up. Yeah. I also feel like, you know, when you're at home and your parents always say, like, I love you, you know, I when it comes to, you my, to my parents sister. want to be here. I want to be your doctor, I want you to be your doctor, I want you to be your lawyer. I feel like that further validates what Toyosi's saying because mm -hmm. it's like, your parents don't want you to nap. They feel like if you're, you know, if I say I want to be a painter, they're like, no, don't because yeah, you're going to struggle. You will never you. ever be able to make let it me because ask you. You, you choose. They want you to be your doctors because mm -hmm. I know that you're going to make it. It's not going to be hard for you to make money. It's not going to be hard. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, the fact that your parents even kind of like put it's you in that right, mindset yeah. that like if I wanted to just be a normal like shopping assistant, mm -hmm. I'm finished because mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to struggle, 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 struggle. Mm -hmm. I need to add to what you're saying, so you know that having to work ten times harder starts from early. I remember being in secondary school, I had a teacher, I think Miss Barmore Spencer. What's her name? Yeah, Miss Barmore. <laughs> she said to me, yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, if you're watching this, <laughs> she said to me, she was just like you know the black teachers always used to take me to the side and be like, you know you have to work. So it starts from early. My parents have always told me, you know you're black. And I used to think like, do you know who I am? I'm married. Like, I'm very <laughs> I'm bubbly. Not like, I'm smart. I always used to feel like I'm smart and bubbly. I can hear everybody say, bro. Oh, what they're literally saying. <laughs> let, let me not lie. Black <laughs> teachers so many used to take us. My school anyways, like, yeah. yeah. they used to take us to the corner and be like, you know you have to like work. You know where you're going. Well, you know you, you can't do that. You need to work. I used to think, do you know who I am? I need to work. And please, add into what Tiosi said. When Tiosi said that black women are not afforded mediocrity, that is the listen, that is the truth. Yeah. If you are black, anything you're doing, you need to be at a level where they can't chat yeah, for you. Yeah, I'm trying to say Like, for example, Serena Williams, yeah, we know she's a 
one of the best at tennis. And they still try to downplay but they still, But the only way they can downplay her is when they talk about her skin colour. Mm -hmm. Remember when, when that article came out the cartoon, they called her beast because she yeah, reacted yeah. to something. See what I mean? Angry black woman again. But they know that Serena Williams, you can't chat for her. Stats don't lie in numbers. We know she's been doing her thing. She's one of the best in the world, clearly, at tennis. But due to the fact that she's there, no one can chat for her. So, so they to only bring her down, they need to find other things. So uh, when she got angry at that man, as soon as the cartoon was made, they made her look like a beast, look like a monkey. So mm -hmm. black people, in, in order for you to be taken in, especially in this, this world, this society, you need to be like the top of the top. For example, Oprah Winfrey, yeah, you can yeah, chat yeah. for her. She's, firstly, she worked her way up, and I know when she was working, she was ridiculed. She was probably um, discriminated against. There was a lot of racism that she experienced. But mm -hmm. due to where she is now, no one can really say Oprah Winfrey's not doing her thing. You need to be the top of the top mm -hmm. for you to be respected. And I feel like it's good in the sense that we we'll always work hard, but it's not fair because I'm not trying to be rude or anything. But I'm sure there's other races, probably white people, who don't have to kill themselves as much. They can be me joke when they do, I get it. For a black person to be a billionaire or millionaire or listen you just be your gym, you better be if they wanted to be a painter. They can't give me chat. For example, like Jay Z, they can't, he's a bit, you can't give Jay Z chat. We've seen he's got his accolades, like he's done his thing. So, in order to be black in life and then being, a, especially being a woman as well, when you're so like undermined. You need to be the top of the top, and I feel like yeah. it's good in a sense because it means that we're always going to work harder. But it's so not nice because other people do not have to kill themselves as much yeah. as we do. And even when we get to the top, we're still we're ridiculed, still, we're, we're still, still disrespected. Like yeah. people, because they, they can't come they, for our they talent, they come for our skin color. Do you think they can't come for our talents? They will come for our skin color. And that's I, what I'm trying to. Like, sorry, guys, I had to go. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. It shouldn't matter anyway because even that when we do get to the top and we still get ridiculed. That still feels like shit. Like what the mm -hmm. hell? Like you shouldn't do it. Like okay, what, yeah, like you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should just do it regardless. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do it because you know our people are watching you. Like mm, she can't make it. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. And yeah, yeah. Then, I don't want to hear what you have to say. No, I agree. And I feel like being in school with my, I was in my class for up school. Do you get what I'm saying? And I feel like you need to understand black women are held to higher standards. Mm -hmm. I can't get away with what my white peers would yeah. get away with, and that's point black period. Do you get what I'm saying? So being held to those higher standards. Is detrimental to you because you're gonna start feeling like you have to, you know, be on guard. It's not nice. Do you know what I mean? I saw I saw a post on Twitter where this girl done an essay, and she got like such high grades, and her, her lecturer emailed her like I was looking online to see oh, if you plagiarized, like somewhere. to see if I found this word right. elsewhere because go. it was so good. She, they, she literally thought she copied it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, why is it that when black women are so good, people think like this is not that, that. like exactly? Yeah. And to me, why is it so surprising? It's surprising as much as. Obviously, I don't do as much research, but whenever I go to BBC News, the smartest families always tend to be black. Mm -hmm. you know, every, a lot of inventions um, that have been made in this world tend to be from black people, so it shouldn't surprise you guys. You guys are just probably, you don't want to accept, yeah, accept that we have that talent. And I feel like that's not a coincidence either. It's not a child adversary. This is what happens, you get what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. go, if you go to America in the UK, when you go to universities, you will see Nigerians or Facts. Africans or West Africans or black Facts. people in general and selling. That's mm. not just by chance. Mm. We've got more to lose. We've got more things exactly. that we want to do. I'm saying, as a as a white person, although they may not be held, you know, to the highest standards, they white the life is their oyster. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I mean, this it's is not for us. We're not offending. We're just this is actually the it's reality. Really, yeah. 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 It's not bad, like, but it just shows yeah. that. It's the flip side. If you've been told constantly you have to work ten times harder, you have to be perfect. Be no one's gonna allow you to slip up. That's why you see people excelling, yeah. and then people then turn around and be like, "Well, you know what? You look different from me. I don't think you should be here. I don't feel like you're supposed to be here." Are you sure? Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's quite detrimental. And then like, even speaking on it, once you've got there and you, and you speak on it, like. People look at you like, and it's like, like, what, what do you mean? Like, 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 what do you mean? Like, because I remember Being, like, going in school, back into school when you guys was mentioning it. I remember I had probably, I'd go to school with red hair, I'd be like, no, where are you going? You mm. can't do this, you know? I'd talk back to a teacher, no, what, what are you doing? Mm. Isolation, punishment. Yeah, but I guess so, if you saw a white person do that, it would be fine. They could tell you, someone's going on at home, you know, the day before. <laughs> oh, kids tend to be like, what's at home? That is the She one. must be going for something about that. Like, listen, being hard is black enough than being a black woman mm -hmm. where normally their men always get high positions. Like it's the fracture that there's discrimination within everything. Where black, where women, even black men get better than yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. How is there that much of a divide mm -hmm. that it even gets to that level? And like, even and what even validates it more is like, you know, when a black woman when a black woman makes it, it's like you're an inspiration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, people say people see it as like it's a compliment, but really and truly it's actually not. Mm. Yeah. Now we're still, I go on to and I still see the first black woman to get a Grammy. No, obviously I'm just using an example, yeah, the first yeah, black yeah. woman to get 10 points. And I'm thinking, why is it we're still at this 
the point in our lives we're still the first, the first, the first. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things to accomplish because we've been denied of so much. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Even like when people are doing like movies and stuff, like I know that they put like black people, they'll be like you're a D-list. Like, yeah, yeah. it'll be like an A-list celebrity, uh, celebrity, but they'll put them in categories. And if you're, for example, if we're dating back to like lighter skin, mm -hmm. they'll be like, that's an A-list, so she'll probably be like a school girl or something. Mm -hmm. And then they'll put like the darker skin person as a D-list and be like, oh, she might, she can be like um, a yeah, sweeper yeah, or yeah. something. And it's just like, yeah. there's so much discrimination in every and part. And it's practical. Mm -hmm. what you said as well, it, things in this life do not have a bad chance. Like, mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, you can argue, yeah, but things like this, no, like, there's mm -hmm. a reason why they've put, why someone at the top has put dark skin girls as a D-list and dark skin yeah. girls as an A-list. Mm -hmm. It's not just, oh, oh, I just, I just quickly did that. No. no. Yeah, there's so yeah. many um, things on, like, the TL and stuff of, like, you know, yeah. dancers and stuff, like, yeah. shoots and, like, you know, the director told me to go to the back, to the back and it's like, it's why? Really you know what I mean? Like, it's really bad. This, crazy. I don't even know. This world that we live in for black girls is just incredibly yeah. hard. Yeah. So this kind of moves on nicely to my next question that um, Mara gave me, which was about, um, have you ever been underrepresented in an institution and how has that made you feel? So I, for one, definitely feel that I've been underrepresented in certain institutions I've been with. So throughout my educational journey, mm -hmm. when I was sixth form, I went to a selective free school. So there was quite a lot of black, other black people or um, or Asian or mm -hmm. minority people because mm -hmm. that was the mission of the school was to get us into higher yeah. education. Mm -hmm. People that can't afford private school yeah. or whatever. So I felt not so much as that, but in higher like higher education institution, I feel like I was being the only black person, not to talk about the only black girl in yeah. my cohort. It's like I don't feel like I love everybody that I went through, that I studied with. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you don't see other people that look like you, you start to feel like you don't belong there. You start to feel like well, exactly, exactly. And it's not like they're being mean to you, yeah. or anything, but just because you're the only black person or you're the one of two black people, do you know what I mean? It does take a toll, and I feel like that kind of tends to lead to other things, like for example, thinking you have to work harder, or yeah. even having like imposter syndrome. Sometimes you feel like, am I supposed to be here? Mm -hmm. Am I am I even um, am I good mm -hmm. enough? Do you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like. Being underrepresented, whether that's in an institution or even on TV, you don't see no one that looks mm -hmm. like you, then you might think, okay, maybe I can't be a singer because there's no other black people. Do you know what I'm saying? Just as an example, I just feel like it's definitely something that black people face on a daily and it's just not spoken about enough. Yeah. Obviously, the onus is not really on us because mm -hmm. it's up to institutions to make sure that they're mm -hmm. being diverse and not just ticking a box by putting one black person in jail. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I, I hate that stuff. You know what? Yeah. You know, I feel like sometimes here, yeah, when I see BAME and stuff, I'm happy, oh, obviously, they're starting to integrate us, but it just, to me, it feels like a checklist. It just feels like they're putting BAME so they don't get, you know, black like, like, yeah, like, yeah, or yeah, they, they want to be really diverse, so this like, okay, let's put BAME. What they, then they put one black girl, one Asian, then boom, everything's fine. I feel like they're not doing it with me. I like things that are genuine in life, and yeah. I want to go to somewhere when I feel like they're not an institute. Even if you could take me, if I don't feel like you're genuine, I don't feel I'll be comfortable working yeah. there. Yeah. I shouldn't feel like you've only put me in this oh, because you want to tick something. You should actually genuinely like me and like my talent, not because of my skin colour or whatever. Mm -hmm. You talking about that um, goes on to the um, thing about, I think Sainsbury's received bare backlash, a lot of backlash oh, because yeah. of the yeah. yeah. that they did. And then Tesco retracted their yeah, um, clip models. of the, um, black, the black yeah. person. The black and it's like, yeah. yeah, it's like, we're trying to be in, you see one company getting backlash because all they did was make a black family. It's not, not, it's not the abnormal to have a black family at Christmas, you know? And <laughs> thank you. Because there was complaints and they don't want to get that. They've taken you out. And it's like, why do you have to treat us like that? What Tesla should have done is to leave it there. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, but, then, but then this is where like my hope dies down because if we can't trust these big, these like Tesco Sainsbury's, it's not like the minimal down your road. Like it's a proper, shop like this is a a well-established shop mm -hmm. if they can't do it right what the hell like yeah, no, what the hell, who the hell can do it right like we're just we're underrepresented and then on top of that no one's really willing to try like mm -hmm. as hard like i'll be real the only time like 2020 obviously was a crap year but in terms of like black people stepping up only we can step up for ourselves. Yeah, like, I think we need to get into the habit yeah, of yeah. understanding this is where it is now. Only yeah, black people definitely yeah. what's good for black people. And in order for us to elevate, we have, we yeah, we have to, to stop that. We, if all the time it's always black people shouting at this corporation or, oh, mm. the, the Emmys don't do enough, you don't include me, I want to see at your table. Mm. No, nah, fuck that. We need to listen to these celebrity podcasts. Oh, tell the You know what I mean? Yeah. I say, we have to just make up. Like, like, similar to what Jashan said, I remember during like this, like, 2020 there were, when there was a lot of Black Lives Matter stuff. I remember there was a, a influencer who said that she wants to see how many 
black employees yeah. each oh, organization. Yeah. 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 I don't want it to say yeah. leave, yeah. but I just, like, I just see it as like, you know, everyone was just like, yeah, 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 but I was like, why? Do you know what I mean? Not even like why, but it's like, what do you ex first of all, none of them did it. That's number one. And that obviously tells you everything you need to know because there's none. Do you know what I mean? And there's not that much. So they already know what's going to happen after that. And it's like literally what you just said. We have to literally do it for ourselves because they're going to do it for us. Which is why I'm so happy people are talking about shopping black owned businesses. 100%. When you see these corporations, she's not asking them to list their black employees because she likes it. Your target audience are black women. Exactly. You make exactly. products for black women, yet you have no black women on your board. It does not support black women. Literally, anyway. Literally. Math is wrong. Math. It's, it's not math. It's not math. I don't want to quote something wrong. I swear, was it off white that they had no? He had no black like not people one. on his board. No, no. no. And, 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 and he's a black man, so I think people were like. That's why I said that. Like, literally, literally yeah. no organisations literally release how because they, they can't. can't. They can't. They can't. Um, what black people need to understand is we need to stop having hopes when like a celebrity of like a Caucasian yeah. puts yeah. up Black Lives Matter because they're just doing it for their aesthetic. They don't really actually want to help us. Even the whole thing. I feel like some a lot of the things nowadays are just two fours like you should you should want to help us because you see the injustice that we face and just be a genuine person this is just moral isn't it just be kind and help you know what we're going through we're trying to help ourselves but if you know that you have more privilege than other people why not help because if i had if i knew i had more privilege than someone else i'll if where i can i'll step my foot in you know to help out okay um share an experience where you were discriminated against or mistreated in society due to being a black woman i have so many i think i've got like three even like starting from when i was young i'm going to talk about a time where i went to amsterdam and i was just with my mates we was walking past um a certain lane a certain shop and i swear out of nowhere this woman jumps out and she's like you black bitch I was like, me. Like, and she said, you black bitch. And I was thinking, what ha- like, I haven't done nothing. I've, what, I've, like, I didn't even acknowledge you, for, but you've acknowledged me because of my skin colour. And like, and you don't even like that, you should have called me a blick bitch or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's her. Like, she's actually even a black girl or something. Me, that's even dark self. Like, dude, I don't really. So, yeah, like. I've just got mystery because of my skin colour and then um, I don't want to say it was solely based on this but I remember applying for a job at Sainsbury's and to me I did everything right on the checklist when I was when I was um, being interviewed I spoke properly I answered every single question as I could and before I left she said oh your hair's like loud and all I had was my middle part in jet black so even like hers uh-huh. it's just yeah. the fact that it was sewn in <laughs> doesn't make any difference mm-hmm. and I got home and it said Unfortunately, <laughs> an hour. You know, sometimes they wait yeah, like 24 yeah. hours. That's, that's when you know. That's when you know. That's when you know. That's when you know. And I was thinking, like, you didn't give me the job because of my hair. Like, yeah. how does, what does my yeah, hair have to do with anything? Yeah. yeah. Is that? That's crazy. I, I, ex- I experienced it like a couple of weeks back when I went out to eat. Um, I went to the restaurant and the waiter came up to me and he was like, um, don't order too much. And I looked at him. And I was expecting him to like rephrase yeah. what he said or like come up with an explanation. He was like, yeah, no, this is a bit expensive. I just asked for a new waiter immediately. I wanted to leave. I, I, wanted to leave. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. This is ridiculous. He said yeah, it's too expensive. And I was like, I have to work there, so you know it's supposed to be true. Like you're getting seven twenty. I, I, I was literally boxed about like since then. I mean before then, sorry. I don't think I've ever experienced. I don't feel like I have. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if yeah. I haven't realised it. Mm. But that situation there, especially when I gave you the opportunity to rectify yourself, yeah. and you mm. said it's but why expensive. Is that the first thing that comes out of your mouth. Yeah. Huh? Do you look at me and you think our oh, price too much? Uh, Did, mm. I, I was literally gobsmacked. I, I. I was ready to leave. Mm-hmm. I didn't order. I so ordered like two, two drinks. I was like, I'm out. I don't even want your food. You know, yeah. Why am I supporting? No, I actually spent so much time with me. That's <laughs> mad. Are you paying for that? And it's mad because certain restaurants they'll tell people to pay first. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to black people, hundred percent. Of course, being black, I don't know if it's a threat sometimes, but it feels like a threat. Yeah. Not to like yeah, that way. Yeah, that is. But it feels like a threat, like even when like, you go into the shop and the security guard's following me. Yeah, I hate that. Even though I forget shops, the hair shops, the hair shops. Yeah, yeah, like they've been looking. These are the people that. Yeah, same with the same with the They've been looking black hair care products like behind the shelves. Like you have to go to the shop assistant. Oh hi, can I have that behind the glass? The hair shop is fifty pound. Don't leave it out. No one's looking. No one's looking. Trust me. Like you never had my blue magic. Why you having blue magic? 
go there, bring that up. It's, no, it's just, it's just, and to think that it happened still today, 2021. There was literally a video last week about it. Mm-hmm. It's it's not that ridiculous. Yeah. And it's, it's just like, I feel like in loads of ex- like situations, you probably know it's because you're black, but you just want me to see it. The minute, the minute that you say that, when it was me, yeah, I was at uni, and I'm the only in my uni class now. In the beginning, there was three black girls to start with, but I don't know where they disappeared to. <laughs> so it was just me, and then obviously everyone else. But I'm like, I think I'm the only person, I do politics, I think I'm the only person that supports Labour in my uni class. And then on top of that, my uni is outside of London. So I'm the only Labour, everyone else is conservative, I'm the only black, everyone else is white. It will be small things like if I'm sitting, like I'm sitting down, no one has allocated seats, it's uni, so Mm. it's a room. Mm -hmm. Someone's telling me, yeah, like, oh, in my seat, I'm just thinking, no, 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 no. I can't be in your seat. Unless our names are here, I can't be in your seat, period. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get another word out. They called the chancellor for me to come to my lesson. The chancellor of the uni, they called her to come and remove me from my lesson. I was like, I didn't even say anything. I'm like, no, they're probably going to start me. I said, I'm sitting there. That's actually mad because uni has no seats. Uni has no seats. Uni has no seats. I'm sitting here. No seats. I'm sitting here. 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 But if not, I'm That's terrible. It's like so bad. Me. And the fact that we even, like, even stuff like that doesn't get resolved, because after that, they just had enough of me, walked out, continued the lesson. It didn't get resolved. I didn't get an apology. I didn't get mm-hmm. to mediate it out. Nothing. Uh, and even if, out, it, if it was resolved, it would always be, um, you know, you just try and be a bit understanding. Yeah. I don't think that's yeah. a, They'll try to say it's not because of Why can't they understand us? Why can't they say it's not because of this or because mm-hmm. of that? Like, well, why even if they like, like, to a meeting, they might put, like, a black woman in the meeting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, to finish it off, guys, we are gonna go around. Everyone, just give me one thing you'd probably like to see in a couple of years that would make you feel like there's gonna be changes with how black women are, you know, being treated. So that could be you probably outside. I want to see more black women in high roles. Like it shouldn't be a surprise to see a black woman there. It should be like, oh, that's the norm. The same way other people, other yeah. races are, is normalized. It should be normalized for us as well. Mm-hmm. I would love to see black women represented better in films, mm-hmm. on television, because it's like, this starts from when we're watching TV as children, yeah. and it literally goes up to when we're adults, so it's like, when we just nip it in the bud from there, I feel like it just helps for the rest of society. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I'd like to see, as Mariam said, more black women taking up space across all roles, so the high level, lower level, mm-hmm. you know, middle, like, I just want to see black women being themselves the authentically and mm. without, you know, fear of what society is going to put on them. Yeah. Um, going off your note, I would like to see black women being accepted for who they are. If they're going through a problem, it's okay. Yeah. Breathe, cry, take that break. Mm-hmm. You are not the person who secures mm. everything. It's mm. fine. You'll be okay. Yeah. So just to have that security and support to be open. Mm. Yeah. Um, I just want to see black people in general um, make their own table. Like, I'm tired of seeing us complain now, mm-hmm. or like, complain and say that uh, they didn't do this for us. We need, to, we need to just do stuff for ourselves and continue doing it. In a few years, like, like they they build they build what they have now, we can do the same. Do you know? mm-hmm. We had it already, period, in the beginning. So now, <laughs> it's time to do what we need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would love to see like people stop stereotyping black people as a whole and like mm-hmm. stop having like these cartoons, these labels about us and just see us for who we are because mm-hmm. you judge us without even us speaking. Just us walking into the mm-hmm. room, be like, oh, she's probably angry or a monster. And it's just like, give us a chance for us to show you who we are, like see past my skin color, Mm. and actually see me for me mm. well that is a wrap honestly i love speaking to all you guys today like we said so many things and i know it probably got heated sometimes but you know that's just the <laughs> frustration how we feel and this is going to be the first of many black women conversations we're going to have i appreciate all of you guys coming today to share your stories share your views hope you guys enjoy it so just like subscribe and wait for our next episode